Okay, here we go. Now, for the tutorial, you're going to use the exact same loops that I'm using, okay? When you do your own project, you can pick any loop you want, as long as, of course, it sounds correct and it plays nicely with the other loops. But for this one, just do the loops that I tell you to use, okay? So let's go into our loop browser by tapping the little button that looks like a loop. So I'm going to tap on that. And let's see. So I can organize my loops and search for loops by instrument or by genre or by descriptors. I'm going to search by instrument here. And I'm going to go into the strings. So instrument and then strings. Now to preview what one sounds like, you just tap on it once. And then just tap on it again, turns it off. Otherwise, it'll just sit there and loop so you can listen to it. Now, of course, when you're doing it, you're going to be listening to every one of these. You're going to have your headphones on. You're going to drive your parents crazy. But for us, I already know what I want. So I'm just going to tell you which ones they are. And when you're doing it, you can spend all the time in the world listening to every loop that they have here. The first one we want is Ambition Strings. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to drag it onto the track below where our guitar is. And I'm just going to set it right there. Now it fills in for the entire song, which would make it a very boring song, just repeated over and over again. So I'm going to highlight it by tapping on it. I'm going to grab that back little edge. I'm going to move it all the way just so I have about four measures of it. When you're in this view, you can also pinch and you can zoom in on any part that you want. So here's the beginning of our song. So just a nice slow beginning. That's when those people are walking across the beach talking about what Kiva can do. Uh, now that I have that, I'm going to delete the other track above it by tapping on the, the guitar up there twice. I can delete that. So, yeah, remember, you couldn't do it before, but now you can do it because we actually have a track in here. So, I have that for four measures, okay? So, that's what I want my intro to be. Uh, maybe, yeah, four measures is really good for that. I like that. And then let's bring in now, let me just zoom out. Let's bring in another track uh, in the strings here, just so we kind of keep with the same thing. Um, it's called the Be Together strings right there. Be Together. And it's only, and I'm going to have that start right after the other one. So it's going to go from that one into that one. And the same thing, I'm just going to shorten that all. And let's have that be for um, uh, two measures or sorry, have it be for, for four measures. There, I'm going to zoom in enough so you can see it. So for four measures as well as the other one. So let's rewind and listen to that. Nice slow start, exactly what we're looking for. Okay, so now let's get a beat onto our song. So let's go into our, our loop browser here. Let's get out of strings and maybe get into conga. Let's try that, conga. Okay, and the one I'm looking for here is the Remix Conga Fever 1. Okay, so I'm gonna grab that. There we go. Come on. And I'm gonna move that, I'm gonna have that start at track seven, just to see how I like it starting just two measures after the other thing, but it still plays, so let's go. Okay, this is looking really good. Um, I'm just gonna zoom out so I can grab the end of this track here and, and bring it forward. Okay, so I like that little mixture that we have going on here. Do you see how we've, we kind of, play this one all by itself, play this one all by itself, but then we bring in this other one. So I'm actually going to extend this another two measures. So I have a total of six there, and I kind of like that. I like that. I'm going to shorten that to there. So I've got four measures of um, my beat kind of doing that. So now we're going to talk about that variety that, that we're kind of uh, missing if we just put these all throughout this whole song. So in the next video, we're going to come back, and I'm going to show you how to copy and paste that little beat that we have to give variety to our song.